Welcome to KMK Top Mobile. This is just a quick review of the uh, Kindle Fire. That's what they call it. Uh, I'm gonna do it real quick. Uh, sorry about the thing. I, this is uh, I've seen quite a few reviews of this, but no one has really gotten into what's really going on. Okay, here we go. Here. All right. First of all, let me just give you the specs on it. I'm not gonna unbox it because that is just ridiculous. All right, the specs is um, five, twelve gigabytes of uh, megabytes of RAM as a, um, a one gigabyte uh, dual core processor. It's a uh, te Texas Instrument processor, so it should be pretty fast. Okay, here's the um, interface. You got this carousel thing here. You can flip back and forth, thing you got down here where you could put your favorites and you know so on and so on. So it's pretty nice. Then you got books here. If you want to go in there, you got all your books in there yeah and then you got your cloud here and uh, uh things that are on the device and if you go out you got your music so uh all of this stuff you can have all of this on the cloud and you don't have to really have it on the device because the device only has it has eight um gigabytes of uh, memory but uh, you only could use about six um, you know, so that's, you know, I guess for, for the price at one ninety nine, I guess that would be cool. Then you got your video here. Now, Amazon, they, they have their own, uh, like, video store similar to uh, Netflix. Only here, uh, when you first buy the uh, Kindle Fire, they give you uh, Amazon Prime <clears throat> for a month for free. So that means you can stream uh, videos on here, not the newest ones. But, uh, you know, these are, are not really expensive at all. You can rent them for, like, uh, three ninety nine. You can buy them for about uh, fourteen ninety nine. So some of them you can't buy, but some of them you can't. Like, uh, if you like shows, you can buy a show for one ninety nine or whatever, Walking Dead. It's celebrated. It got some shows in there. So it's, the uh, ecosystem is pretty cool. All right, let's go out. And documents, if you got documents, whatever, that means uh, any type of document. Yeah, I think PDF files, whatever, etc. And then apps, of course, here. This is not the regular uh, Android app store. This is uh, uh, Amazon app store. So what they do, they, I think they, uh, they really uh, test their apps out uh, before they put them on the market. You know, so uh, the apps on here are pretty good apps, if you want to say that. If you want to go in the store, blah, 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 comes up. You know, it has some stuff on here, you know, so, you know, it's okay. All right, so that's that. So the ecosystem is pretty cool. Then you got the, you know, uh, <clears throat> the newsstand. You can get magazines, you know, and all this stuff right here. You know, magazines, you can buy magazines, you can just subscribe. And, and it's, you know, pretty cool. That is really good. The, the uh, ecosystem is really good. Now, let's get into <clears throat> the things that I'm having problem with. Having problems with. All right. First of all, the web is decent. It is. You know, I, I really can't complain about the web. Sometimes it'll lag or, or stick up or whatever, but. Other problems I've been having with this is problems like for no reason at all, it will completely just shut off or not even get to the point where you put it up here and you wait for it to uh, go into a land. I think I have it stuck in, in land and um. So let's unlock this. Let's see how quick the uh, transition switch up on this thing. All right. All right. You see that? That's taking a long time to uh, come out. It's still have not reached yet. These are the problems that I've been having with this. Just look at this. It still has not. Sorry about that. What's going on? I'm shooting this real quick. But there's. There's, there's, there's nothing. It still has not flicked back. So in order for me to get back like how it was, I press the home key and it comes up. But if I flip it back, transition. All right. All right. So it did pretty good on there. So a lot of times it then falls like playing music. See. 
playing music sometimes or watching videos on YouTube as uh, kind of choppy, kind of choppy, well not really kind of choppy, really choppy. And um, one thing, one other bad thing I noticed about it here for the price, I mean you can only expect so much, but I thought it would be better since Amazon, and, and I love Amazon, those e-readers are awesome. But as you can see here, there's there's nothing down there right now. It should be well, what what happened to my home keys and all that? Well, where where are they? I mean, this is you know, and I've had problems like this for the longest. I mean, what 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 happened to the home keys? I mean, flick it around. <clears throat> Still, well, where's where's my home key? There's there's nothing there, and it's kind of annoying, really annoying. I, I mean, you know, in order for me to get back, like the problem that I've been having, the uh, software has been very inconsistent at all. Sometimes it will work, sometimes it don't. Even opening a book, sometimes the book will, will uh, stutter. Like you take uh, this book here. All right, see, I touched it once. All right, so it opened pretty decent that time. And, you know, the thing is, at first I wasn't going to um, actually purchase one of these, but I actually purchased one of these because I'm going to do a review on the Kindle Touch. But um, this is not a productivity um, device at all. Uh, if you want to read, it's best to get an e-reader because this right here really doesn't do any of what a real tablet would do very good. It's okay, but it, but it's not. It, it shouldn't be called the Fire. I mean, the name is really, I, I, Lord have mercy, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm hoping maybe with a software update that it will get better. Hopefully it will, and I'm hope I'm hopeful that that uh, you know it will get better. But I don't know, people. I mean, you know, I'm not bashing them. I'm just hoping that if I'm gonna keep this, then uh, uh, they gotta do something about it. I mean, even with um, yeah, I can't even get back to where I was. Oh yeah, that's one of my groups. And then you know, like the games they play. I, I don't want to buy these for games. You know, I'll play Angry Birds every now and then. But as far as uh, <clears throat> gaming I have consoles for that but uh, you know um, it could the email client on here is pretty good Netflix works pretty good I don't have any problems with that uh, the games they work pretty good uh, this is okay when it works uh, there's a popping noise in the uh, in the music player uh, and uh, the video players. Like I mean, you know, it's okay. You know, not uh, not, not not too bad. But uh, hopefully, uh, with a software update, <clears throat> we'll get it right. But one other thing before I touch out and get out of here, one other problem I've had is this menu, this back menu. And I mean, these things barely respond. They re they don't respond yet at all. I press it. And you see, I'm pressing that. And, and, you know, it takes two or three times to press it. And that was a couple of times I had to press it, like, five times to uh, get it to go back. And that is so annoying. It's really annoying. It really makes you not even want to have it. And, you know, even if I go inside um, here, if I go inside here, press that. And then you got the back menu here. I try and go back. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. So, for one ninety nine, what more can you ask for? Let's just hope that we could get a uh, software update that will fix this. So, thanks for watching. I hope I've been helpful with this uh, quick review. Not really a quick review, but a review just off the top like that. And um, um, thanks for watching, and come back and see me at KMK Top Mobile.